Hi guys, Evie here. In this video, we are going to complete the Sprouting Love Pavilion. Or Sprouting Confession? I think that's the name of the pavilion, right? Sprouting Love is the name of the set. I know for sure that we're going to complete the set and awaken the set because, oh my gosh, the bear, right? But I don't know if I'll be lucky enough to complete the entire pavilion. We'll find out soon, I guess. Let me tap to start and I'm ready to pull. I actually didn't really follow up with Shiny Nikki social media lately because I've been, oh, okay. Okay, now we are back. Um, let me tap to start. I feel like it's because I haven't logged in with my iPad for so long, so it just automatically deleted my, like, like they can't remember your account, right? And then it forgot my account. Um, so yeah, I've been really busy and I'm actually pretty late. As you can see, um, it's 7.40 and it's like, 9.40 my time, I got really caught up in making my photography portfolio website. Like I always get so addicted to like making things. So yeah, I've been working on that all morning and I've been telling myself like, oh, you should start pulling, you should start pulling. But then I'm like, oh, just one more photo, just one more photo. So yeah, that's what I did this morning and it took a long time, but I finally paused and started to make my video because if I continue making the website, it's probably going to take me the entire day. Okay, so shop. We have all the usual packs. I just, I like to go over these every single time because it's easier for me to see what the event was originally like when it returns. So I would know if paper messed up anything or um, sometimes they change prices of some things. Not often, but I think they did it once. I don't know, I'm not sure. And then people complained. Like there are so many people that are so good at noticing what paper has done differently and then they can catch it right at the moment they make the mistake and then correct it. So I never had to do that. But then on global, I feel like I'm kind of responsible since I'm making videos for all these events. So I feel like I'm partially responsible as a player of Shiny Nikki to record anything that paper is doing differently. So yeah, that's the shop. Nothing too special about it. And um, so, sorry. I feel like I haven't done a video in a while. I've been recording the video for Prophecy. Um, so yeah, and um, I'm almost done, almost. And also I translated the name correctly. I can't believe it, like word to word correctly. That's the first time I've ever done that. The closest I've gotten is probably Ye Xiao Thousand Dreams. I translated it as um, thousand fold dreams, just one word, right? We can just ignore that I added another word and think that I did it <laughs> correctly. So yeah, I'm so happy that I got Leonid's prophecy right. I don't know, I'm just really proud of myself <laughs> about that. Um, so this is the um, events page. I've already done my dailies and I've already purchased the packs and I've already completed the story stages and today's challenge stages. So game section is where you share the posters and get two stickers in total. And then time task is because I have already shared it and I have already cleared all the challenge stages. So we'll get to claim these points and our five free tickets. And we have the background in here and the pose in here as well. The pose is really adorable, but I just don't use it that often because you have to use it with a bear. Like if you take off the bear, it doesn't make sense. Like it's shown right here and it's showing my everything about video. So yeah, that's the part about this pose. And um, it has Nikki, Nikki's eyes are closed. I feel like in my slides, I don't use closed eyes poses as often. I don't know why, I just don't go for those as often, but I do use this background a ton. I think it's a really pretty background and I'm really happy about it. And look, there's 300 parties on my server. It's, I don't know, 300, it's pretty interesting. And then um, just try game is our story stages. You go through chapters 
And then heart record is your challenge stages. Don't forget to sweep those daily. And then we have obtain confession set. Let's check out the family. I'm so nervous. I hope there are not too many new URs or else I would, I don't know what I would do. I honestly don't because I found out that my um, arena ranking has dropped drastically. I don't know why. I probably because I didn't pay attention to the game recently because I've been busy IRL. So I didn't really try hard to um, upgrade all my points. Oh, partly probably because I haven't learned the makeup set yet and I haven't unlocked all the stats. That's probably partly why, but that's just like a tiny, tiny little um, section of that. Um, I have to do that, but I didn't, I didn't learn my makeup because I wanted to know like what, how much it costs exactly. So when I make the videos, I can tell you guys what it costs, but I should do that today. <laughs> and then, um, okay, okay. Um, let's go back to the set. So we have this entire set. I showcased this in my everything about videos. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. And, um, the worst thing ever about this suit is that the top and bottom are one piece it's a dress item so yeah i'm not happy about this at all but the reflection is so pretty the bear is so pretty you don't have to complete the entire set to get a recolored bear which is awesome and i think you don't have to complete the entire set to get a recolored coat as well either well double check my everything about video if you're if you want to know for sure, because I included Awakening Rewards Order in that video. And um, yeah, I think you only, at least I know for sure that you only need to get the reflection and the bear to recolor it. So yeah, hopefully you guys all got really lucky. I can't wait to see your um, rates. Um, and then we have Lilith's Voice of Desire, low and glittering date. And we have a new UR dress. Oh, okay, interesting. So this UR dress first appeared in this pavilion, apparently, because um, this dress is also in the newest Taiwan and CN event, the video that I made, uh, I don't know, last week, the week before, um, the Qinyi Wuxia one. And I was like so happy about getting this like adorable bear dress even though i probably won't wear it anytime but like it's just really cute and adorable so i hope we can get this today and i hope we won't hit the pity counter which is like a hundred poles or something and then this is originally released in lowen's flame fox pavilion i remember that and called stockings can't remember where it's from <gasps> oh no oh no oh no i didn't realize i don't have this either scale ripples Oh, that's annoying because whenever there's like more than one UR item, I probably have to pull a lot more than the pity counter. Because if both of them hit the pity counter, it's going to be at least 100 plus pulls. I don't feel like doing that, but uh, I don't know. Oh, this is pretty. I remember this. I've used it before. <gasps> Bear headband nice even though this is kind of chunky and i feel like it'll be better without the balls but not gonna say no to another pair of ears and these are cute too by yuka and oh i like this a simple um necklace interesting so this bear necklace has a green gem in the middle it looks kind of weird not gonna lie it looks squishy almost and then earrings oh i like those oh okay um i'm guessing this is a set but it's not my favorite and then okay this is cute a bag oh i actually like this bag i think it's really versatile and that's all we have in the pavilion and we have 55 tickets also because i've got i got the 50 dollar pack so let's claim all the top up rewards and a wild butterfly. Okay, that's a stamina event. This is exchange event. Memory stairway, weekend bonus, weekly gifts. Huh, I already bought. Oh, also one thing I just want to kind of complain is that weekly gifts is like 
hidden, so hidden in the events section. Like I sometimes forget to purchase these and I almost forgot bluebirds. Oh, it's just, it's just really hard to remember. I, I probably should set up an alarm or something because I don't want to miss out on those backgrounds. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't know why I went to the homepage. Let's go into events. And I guess it's time for us to poll in this pavilion. I think we've gotten all the tickets we can so far. So 65 and then after 65, I'm probably going to spend gems, I think. Because there's no more top of rewards I can get. So there's like no point of me trying to buy more tickets. Yeah. Okay. Summon 10. All right. Please, please. I just, oh my gosh. Oh, one new item. Seriously. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the hair. Like I love the style overall. It's so cute and just really adorable. But then like the... On Awaken color is so blue, it looks really ruin like. I guess it'll go with cool ruin outfits, but then the hairstyle itself is like really cute. So I don't know. Maybe I'll. I don't know. Maybe I'll play around with it more. Oh my gosh, please be new. Oh, it's a UR2. And we got the kind of squishy and ugly <laughs> bear necklace <laughs> kind of called them ugly i don't know it's just my opinion also these hair ornaments even though you can't really see them in this picture they're really adorable i really like them because i like simple hair ornaments when i style nikki in casual outfits oh that just reminded me i haven't changed my nikki's clothes on global in like at least half a year oh my gosh i got loan's echo that's kind of crazy i think i don't i can't remember if i've maxed out his reflection or not i really can't because playing with two accounts is kind of confusing at times and also i'm not getting very good drop rates for the suit itself so we got the hair and then we got the hair ornament and then we got the stocking or socks so we're getting one new item per temple but we got Lowen's Echoes, which is really nice. Maybe I'll get three new items from the set. Come on. Yes, we got the hat. The hat is really pretty too. Because some of the headwears doesn't really sit well on Nikki's head. At least in my opinion. It makes her head look like insanely big. Which is kind of weird. Because you can tell that like the hat is kind of like sticking on top of her hair. So it's like weird to me. And I don't like that. Like, I don't mind if her head is big on its own. Like, that's kind of cute sometimes. But then with those hair and hairband or headband, those, like, sit directly on top of her hair. Like, it does not seem like the hair is soft. It's just really stiff and weird. So I don't like that. But this hat is, like, kind of perfect. Even though, like, the color is not, like super versatile because it's not like completely white or black but it's still really nice still better than a lot of the other hat wear. hats i wanted to say hat but then i also wanted to say headwear so that's why i said hat wear and then um yeah two new items that's actually not bad better than oh we're getting the reflection because i clicked on it and it got stuck honestly i have some thing to say about this i kind of like oh we got the bear yes oh my gosh the bear is so adorable and i love that you can change nikki's um pose in the home screen now because back when we just got this pavilion i think we weren't able to change the poses or at least i haven't played around with that feature so the bear like always blocks nikki's face and i, I find that kind of annoying but now when you change Nikki's face, the bear is actually like not in front of her, directly in front of her, which is really nice. And then I just think that it's better when it's not blocking Nikki's face in the home screen. So yeah, so opinions about the game getting stuck. Like I love spoilers. Okay, so it gets stuck every time I pull a reflection, a new reflection. Like, I love that I'm getting spoilers because I always love spoilers. But also, they're, it, like, it took away the fun. 
I know I'm just like torturing myself, but it like it really does. It takes away my fun, like not knowing what I'm getting for every temple. That's I don't know. That's something I've been thinking about. Yeah. And then sometimes it gives me false alarms. Like when it's a single UR pavilion, I would be like, oh my god, I'm getting the reflection. And then like when the temple comes up, I find out that like the little um scene is silver. And then I realize that I got the SSR. So yeah, that's the part that I don't like about this. But being able to get spoilers is not bad. And also um, because I said that I can't hear my game's audio because I'm recording two videos at the same time. One with a capture card and then the sound goes into the capture card thing. I found out that there's a place that I can monitor game audio. Like I can't hear it because I don't have a earphone. I lost. I lost mine. Um, so I can see that there are like two little um, lines jumping around and showing that there is audio. So I was just trying to trying to tell when AI stopped talking from those two lines. It, not, it might not be accurate and you guys might not be able to hear what she has to say, like the entire sentence, but I tried. And um, that's our temple. That's actually not bad. We got the reflection, a UR dupe and the bear. That's a nice temple. Not the best I've done, but oh, just one new item. Okay, the drop rate of this pavilion is kind of pathetic um let me get more packs with gems i'm not gonna get the star gem one because i want to save up my star gems for the concept fashion fashion show yeah one more new item thank you very much and we've completed this suit i think that was like 70 poles or 80 poles i don't know okay not gonna lie, this set seems a bit plain, in my opinion, because it's like a school uniform, but we don't have a lot of school uniforms in the game, so like, I guess that's all you can get. And we just completed Sprouting Love. Um, we got one echo, one reflection, and the entire set. And now, <laughs> let's try to get the UR pieces. I hope I can get the bag, because I know for sure that I can get the dress in the newest CM pavilion, so it won't be like the last time I ever, ever, I'll ever see it. So please be the bag, please, please, please. Oh, yes, it's a bag. Um, that's awesome. Now I, I, okay, I don't know if I should continue polling because Halloween and Christmas are just around the corner. Maybe not, because our next pavilion is probably going to be that Aeon and, Aeon and Marina Halloween double SSR, I'm thinking. And then we're probably going to get another SSR event on CM because it's Halloween and it's already like, what? Oh my gosh, the 18th. I shouldn't pull. And then after that, we're going to get Christmas and we might even get a UR on Christmas Day on both CN and Global. Oh, I really have to save up, I can't. I shouldn't pull more. I need these gems. But like, if we get Christmas, let me think. Okay, so the next event that I think I'm gonna pull an insane amount in is probably Fire and Water because, oh, actually, let me claim my rewards. Because I want to use Water's Reflect or Fire's Reflection. Yeah, I think I want to use Fire's Reflection. Oh, and we had 3,380 points. And now we have 3,740 3, points. And we got two new items. So yeah, that's what I've been thinking. I think I want to use Fire's Reflection. And then... Um, and then I'm probably not going to change that until like very late in the game. And um, yeah, so I definitely have to save up. I can't pull anymore. Oh, but it annoys me. But then it's nice because I know that I know for sure that the dress is going to show up 
in future pavilions. So it's better than. Okay, so it's gonna suck, like really suck, if I do not get the bag but got the dress. But since I know for sure that the dress is gonna return with other pavilions, I don't feel. But since I'm gonna get the dress from other pavilions, I don't feel as bad. And also, this beige version is more versatile. I love it. So cute. Oh, I'm talking about the head headwear, by the way. The shoes are really cute as well. Like, it's a perfect pair of this kind of shoes if you're looking for this kind of shoes. And yes, I was right. Okay, so as star 3-3, you can get the coat and the bear. So I think that's very nice. And um, honestly, this hairstyle is pretty similar to a lot of the hairstyles we can get from like memory stairway sr crafting like the style is kind of similar even though the colors are usually not similar but the style is kind of similar they have the same vibe and then this dress let me tell you it's not it's not worth it because it's one piece like like i don't know i just want to say that like the dress the skirt part of this dress makes the silhouette looks weird like it drags the entire outfit down almost and it's like not like light and uplifting i don't know if that makes sense but that's just what i felt so i really really don't like the skirt part and i would love to separate the top and style it with another bottom but it's not possible so yeah i i don't know but if you like it get it because overall it's pretty cute Maybe if you style it the right way and style it better than paper, it'll look nice. Like, I, it's not ugly or anything. It's just kind of weird, in my opinion. And that's everything. Let me claim the index. Ooh, we just leveled up. Awesome. And get rid of the exclamation mark. And claim that. Oh, claim my archive too. Oh, we leveled up Daydreamer. Why would I need that? I don't need that. <laughs> because, okay, so I was gonna, I was talking about this in um, briefly, like really briefly in my everything about video. I was saying that it's kind, it's unlikely that we're gonna get a UR suit in Daydreamer. And then I think the most unlikely one that we're, we're gonna get a UR in is probably Laudan Street. My reasoning is, so Laudan Street is probably Apple Federation style and Apple Federation is kind of like our everyday casual clothing, like modern casual clothing. So I can imagine a UR modern casual clothing, like a super fancy daily outfit. So yeah, and then um, Daydreamer, where is it? Where is it? Daydreamer is kind of like homeware and like cute clothing. So I doubt that we're gonna get URs in this. Oh my gosh, imagine the moment I said this, we got a double UR pavilion that features two suits in Lodge Street and Daydreamer. I. I still want to say that it's unlikely because like look at all the styles like can you imagine a fancier set in these two pavilions? I can't really imagine and then I think Lawton Street is more unlikely and maybe we'll get a really fancy cute outfit like if it's like a animal styled modern-ish outfit super fancy i think it might go into daydreamer i don't know that's just my thought and then i feel like every like all the other all the other archives are pretty likely to get an ur and in fact i think almost all of them have urs already um yeah, that's just my thought but also like whenever p paper pits an attribute it seems like they just roll the dice so who knows maybe because maybe in the future when they want to balance out like a certain reflection they might add 
something in Daydreamer or a lot in Street. Who knows? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't. And I feel like that's probably it for today. It's, oh my gosh, this video is almost 30 minutes long. I can't believe I talked that much. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all get the bear really easily and the coat because that's the items that you guys really loved and the reflection so you can get a recolor. Let me know how it went and thank you so much again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.